Hey there, it's Wendy from Worldwide Speak. This video is about the introduction paragraph. It's part of the series Writing an Essay in English for English language learners. In this video, I'm going to go over the exact things that you need in order to write a clear, effective introduction paragraph. Keep watching. You can do it. Okay, I like to tell my students to think of the introduction like a triangle that looks like this one in the slide. It starts out bigger and then gets smaller. And when we think about this in terms of an introduction paragraph, our first sentence starts out very general. And then as we continue to write, we become more specific and more specific to the point of our thesis, which will be the most specific sentence of our paragraph and tells the reader exactly what you're writing about and why you're writing. So the first sentence of your introduction paragraph should be very, very general, but still related to your topic. For example, let's say that your topic is about the best city to visit in the United States. What would your first sentence look like in your introduction paragraph? It could be something like this. There are so many incredible cities to visit throughout the world. You're talking about visiting a city and you're talking about um, a location in the world. It's still on your topic, which is the best city in the United States, but it's much more general. Next, you want to have a couple of sentences that become a little more specific to your topic, but that are not as specific as your thesis. Remember, the first sentence of your introduction paragraph is going to be that big general statement related to the topic. And then next, you're going to have more information about your topic, a little more specific, but not as specific as your thesis. For example, what does this look like when we write? We could mention New York City and San Francisco as a couple of popular destinations for visitors in the United States. It's not the best city in our opinion, but it's other cities that are in the United States. So we've gone from the world to the United States. We've gone general, the world, the United States more specific. We've mentioned a couple of cities, but not the city that we think is the best. So it would read like this. There are so many incredible cities to visit throughout the world. A lot of people prefer to visit cities in the United States because there's such a variety to suit anyone's interests. Often, visitors choose New York City since they have amazing theater performances. Others like to go to San Francisco for the natural beauty. Do you see how we start out general? A lot of cities in the world, we get more specific, a couple of cities in the United States. The last thing you need to do in your introduction paragraph is state your thesis. If you're writing an essay, you probably know what your thesis is. If you're still confused about what a thesis is, you can watch my video that gives clear explanation about how to write one effectively. So remember, the first sentence of your introduction paragraph is that big general statement or sentence related to your topic. Your next sentences will be more specific and they will relate to your topic, but they're not going to be as specific as your thesis. Now it's time to talk about your thesis. That is going to be the last sentence 
in the introduction paragraph. It tells the reader exactly what you're going to talk about in your body paragraphs and why you're going to talk about it. Your thesis tells the reader the purpose of your essay. It is the most important sentence of your introduction. For example, in this paragraph, we are going to tell the reader what we think is the best city to visit in the United States. We talked about the world, we talked about New York City and San Francisco, and then we tell the reader which city that they need to visit because it's the best. And let me read you the example. Yet, the most amazing city that one must visit when traveling in the United States is Chicago because of its architecture, its restaurants, and its museums. So now, the reader knows I'm going to be reading reasons and examples and details about why I need to visit Chicago. I'm going to read about its incredible architecture. I'm going to read about delicious restaurants. And I'm going to read about these amazing museums. And after I read this, I'm probably going to want to visit Chicago because the writer, that's you, has been so convincing with their details and examples. Okay. So you have the image of the upside down triangle for the introduction paragraph. Let's now move to what it looks like in real life. Here is the same example in paragraph form like you would write it for school. Let's read it together. There's so many incredible cities to visit throughout the world. A lot of people prefer to visit cities in the United States since there's such a variety. Often, visitors choose New York City as they have amazing theater performances. Others like to go to San Francisco for the natural beauty. Yet, the most amazing city that one must visit when traveling in the United States is Chicago because of its architecture, restaurants, and museums. So this is an example of a clear and effective introduction paragraph. It's a very basic introduction, which is a perfect way for the English language learner to start. Let's review the introduction paragraph. Remember, we use this upside down triangle because we start out big or in writing terms general, and then we get much more specific. So we have the big general sentence that starts out your paragraph, and it's about your topic. Then we add a couple more sentences that are more specific, still related to your topic, but not as specific as your thesis. Your thesis is the most specific sentence in the introduction paragraph. And remember, this thesis tells the reader what you're going to talk about and why you're going to talk about it. it helps the reader focus on the purpose of your essay. Big general statement, more specific statements, and then the most specific statement of all, your thesis. Those are the pieces that you need in order to write a clear, effective introduction paragraph for your essay. For those of you who would like more practice, I have left a link in the notes below for more examples of basic introduction paragraphs. You can click on that link and it will take you to more examples so you can have more practice. If you'd like even more practice after the examples, you can always sign up for a one-to-one -one coaching session with me at our website at worldwidespeak.com. Make sure that you watch the next video, part three, on the body paragraph and the pieces, the exact pieces that you need in order to have a very clear, detailed body paragraph in your essay. Take care. Thanks for watching.